Hey guys, this is a tutorial for how to import Minecraft Worlds into Cinema 4D and it's really simple, you just need one program. I will put the link uh, in the descri well, description and it's called Mineways and when you download it, just open it, come on. Yeah, and you have this exe file and you just open it. Then you get this. So um, you click on File, select terra.png. Then you go into your um, Mineways folder. I have it on my desktop. Here it is. And then you can, um, yeah, what do I say? Choose uh, Terra. Um, this is the default texture. This is Mesa texture, whatever. I just choose the default one. Then you go to File, Open World, and yeah, um, choose your world. I used the world I used for my last intro, and yeah, it just opened. You can zoom, and yeah. So find the part you want. You can, of course, um, get the whole map, but it will be really laggy and small for this. So I just choose this here then hold right uh, with the right click on the mouse and oh, and just drag the purple thing here around the area you want to import I choose this here and then you can decide how low you want to go if you don't need the, the caves or anything then let it on 55 or something like that. If you want the cave system and all that down, then go just to zero and you will get the full world, the full ground. But I go to 55 or 58. Max height, I wouldn't uh, change it because it doesn't really matter. If, yeah, so. Then go to file, export for rendering. And then you go in your folder. I don't have one at the moment. So it's to D, whatever this is. And then you just uh, name your world. Whatever world. And then be sure it's an object. Then save. These settings are really uh, no, crazy, but you don't have to change anything. Just click on OK. So. Now it's done, we can close the program and then go to your folder where you save the world and you have these five um, things here. You open the object um, with Cinema 4D, the world. So it's loading up. And click on yes. It's really small, you can make it, of course, um, yeah, bigger if you choose all these objects and then just make it bigger, whatever, but it doesn't really matter. So then you see nothing is or has some material on, and we want to change that now. So we uh, select all these, go on texture, um, um, picture load and choose the world RGBA and click on open yes and then change change the interpolation uh, to uh, none so that was the first step you can see oh they look ugly they have still a render we shouldn't be there and so we go on our basis, still having all uh, materials selected, and click on alpha. In alpha, we're gonna load up the same texture, well, G RGBA, click on yes, and then change the interpolation also to none. And now you can see whatever we do, put a light here, and really simple. Um, we imported our Minecraft world. Uh, 
some tip uh, select all these materials and then uncheck this light glancy thing whatever it's called in English and make it look feel more like Minecraft than at shadows and whatever but I hope you understand my tutorial I was a bit uh, I am a bit crazy at the moment if you know what I mean and <laughs> goodbye guys